Yes. So, okay, let me get some incense. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go in on this karmic mask. <laughs> about to go in. All right, so this could be quiet. I don't know. This is your twin. It could be your twin, divine masculine, but I'm really getting just a karmic ass masculine. He could be like, he could have made it seem like he was, he could be a karmic soulmate. He's a soulmate. But yeah, let me light the, um, against envy incense. Because this karmic masculine is jealous as fuck. He's jealous as fuck. Okay, this could be a female too, but it's a masculine energy. But I'm really getting it's a nigga for y'all. That's it. It's a man. It's a man. But it could also be a really fucking masculine ass um feminine. Okay. But specifically this was somebody that acted like they was your friend. Eleven eleven. I said eleven eleven. One one one. This nigga that came in acted like your friend. He could have been a lover. Like he, he's like a friend that maybe you had sex with him a couple times, but you never. Or this could be like your ex, but it's like you never took him serious. That's why I'm getting like the line feminine. I'm getting this nigga is mad because you never took him serious. That's why he's mad. <laughs> but, but for some of y'all who he didn't date, you didn't you didn't do anything with him. You didn't really date him or anything like that. He's mad because you didn't date him. That's what he's mad. He mad you, you didn't date him. I don't know if he hit on you. Like, I'm pretty sure that he definitely, um, he could have never expressed his feelings. But for a lot of you guys, he did, like, like kind of hint, hint. Like, he would ask you out. He would tell you how beautiful you are and shit like that. But it's like, you, the vine feminine didn't know how to, like, she know how to dominate. It's like, you don't, it's like, it's like, basically, speak up or don't speak at all. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Cause I know like honestly, I don't I'm not much of a hint taker. I don't like that shit. I'm not I'm not. But if I like you, if I generally like you, I don't know. I'm gonna be more like like I'ma go towards you, like but I'm not really like nah, there's only a handful of people I've done that with, so I'm not lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying, like I don't go towards nobody. What the fuck I'm lying. But that's just me. But for a lot of you guys, I'm getting this nigga. He could have been your friend. Could have um smoked you up. You guys could have drank together. He could be a really close friend of you guys. I feel like he was a friend for a long time. It could be at least three years he was your friend. Three years at least. But for some of you guys it was six, seven. Uh, what's we gonna call the karmic masculine? Because the you y'all know Clyde is the karm um is the twin. Clyde is the twin. Bonnie is the karmic feminine. So who is the karmic masculine to divine feminine? Cause divine feminine got a karmic too. Y'all be forgetting. Y'all be thinking it's just the twin is a karmic. Da da da. No, it's niggas that fuck with divine feminine. They wanna. They don't want divine feminine to be with nobody. Nobody. So, I'm getting this nigga is broke as hell, too. Either he broke, he living check to check, or he, he sleeping on niggas' couches and shit. Like, he's not, he don't got his own shit. Like, and for some of you guys, even if this nigga got his own shit, he don't got that shit, like, situated. Like, it's not like he got no money from investment, shit like that. Um, For some of you guys, this nigga is rich. He's wealthy. But, he got all types of addictions. Um, and he deals with a lot of women and you were his friend and he told you about the women so it's like you always know this nigga's a hoe he dealing with um, he has childhood trauma he could have lost his mother or his father he could have grew up with no parents that's what I'm getting to like someone that also I'm getting someone from a foreign country that came here and this person thought that you was gonna marry them that's what they thought like they thought that he was gonna marry them for their citizenship or something Four, four, four. Mm. Yep, he was protected. This person was doing love spells on you, divine feminine, to get you to. Um, they wanted to mimic your divine masculine. They could even be the same sign, and um, uh, but they really do try to mimic your divine masculine. They try 
try to mimic his energy so that you would fall in love with him. They would do sex magic if they had sex with you, but even if they didn't have sex with you, you know, there's, there's ways to do sex magic without having sex with someone. They do it through other people. It doesn't matter. It's anytime you have sex, they use that energy. Or they can even send people towards you to do it. See? Look. For some of you guys, they, you did have sex with the person. For some of you guys. And they were causing financial issues or they have financial issues. They wanted to be your official person. I'm getting here that the police is investigating this person. They, they investigating this man. He could be a scammer. He could do some sort of insurance fraud or uh, something. Yeah, insurance fraud. It could be car insurance or it could be like insurance for your house or this nigga could burn houses down and like get money for that or um oh, oh, oh. so many cards look let your friends help you this is your friend he tried to fake help you with shit try to fake help you with shit and you don't try to so this friend could come over maybe cook for you help you out with the um I don't know Put your TV up, move, help you move, help you with the grocery codependent. But this person was codependent on you. I'm getting like this person did a love story on you, but it backfired on them. Because codependency and attraction, they were codependent on their attraction to you. So maybe they were codependent on your energy because they were attracted to you, like like it says. But also I'm getting deception. See? This person did a love spell on you and it backfired on them. So now, yeah, now they, um, I'm getting they needed you for, for finances too, or just the, you're, you were very valuable. Um, you were, yeah, you're very valuable in this man's, um, little black book. You're very valuable. He was doing work on you. Look, and the lover's right behind that. He was doing love work on you. So this, yep. Mm hmm so he lowered your frequency while you was around him. You could have noticed maybe your, your um your money was missing or shit started breaking. If this person came around you, their shit started breaking. They started losing shit. They was getting into accidents or their car was breaking down on the way. They was doing spells on you. That was your spirit guys fucking them up. Fucking them up. Look, adjudication. This person was cooking for you in the kitchen. Look. They was chefing it up. You guys could have been drinking together, had a drunken night, a passion or something. And like, they took it like, oh, we're together. And then they got mad. They got codependent on your energy. But they were being, yeah, they felt like you were being deceptive towards them. That's what they felt like because you went back to your, to your divine masculine because you already with the partner that you see. Look, separation. Pay attention to the red flag. So you separated from this person and you went back to somebody else. Or some shit like that, and they took it the wrong way. Let me just go here. What's this? What's good? What's this nigga mad for? Yeah, okay. Like I said, this person could have wanted marriage from you, and they could have wanted a family with you, a family room. Um, heart to heart conversation for yourself. So you had a heart to heart conversation with this person, or at one point, and you broke up with them or something. Or, yeah, you took back... Okay, this is what I'm getting here. You took back control of your life. You just basically ghosted this motherfucker. You ghosted this nigga. <laughs> that's what I said, free yourself. Because this nigga tried to... He tried to trap you in the closet. That's what I heard. He tried to trap you in the closet. Heart to heart conversation. So you went to go have a heart to heart conversation with your divine masculine. Some of you guys... You're spiritually married to this person. It could be a physical marriage. But let's see, with this three here, I'm getting spiritual marriage. So now this person's concerned because their little plan isn't working because they wanted to marry you. That's what I'm getting here. Wealthy man is in reverse. This person has fuck, fucking cursed their life, fucking with you. They cursed their finances. Look, pathway. A 35, so 335. There's another 30. There's a 38 right here. 38. This person could have a gun. They could get in trouble. They could go um, to jail for having a gun. They got pulled over. For the work that they're doing. Okay, under 38 is under. I don't know how this shit works. But um there's a 33 here, there's a 38, there's a 30. Seven. 
separation. You separated from this person, and ever since you separated from this person, this person been losing mad bread. Pay attention to the red flags. This person has been losing mad money around you when you was in their presence, but pay attention to the way they act. So, oh, I feel like you guys got into a fight or something, or argument. You guys could have gotten into an argument, and you told this person, like, look what it was. Because, I don't know, maybe this person was, like, doing too much. Tell me, tell me what happened. They was doing too much. Keep an open mind. Work on the partnership. Okay, so many different usual type of expectations. You okay, work on your partnership. Tell me what happened. New love engagement. Wow, bro. Wow. This is interesting. Hmm. Let me sit on this side. You can have a child. Um, you can have a child with your divine masculine. Okay, so you got a ugh, you got a um child with Clyde. I see Bonnie over here staring at you. And then I see I see you over here. But I see he could have been friends with one of your other friends that try to copy you. So this um karmic masculine was friends with one of the friends that try to copy you. Hmm. I'm getting you try to get you pregnant. But I feel like you rejected him. You separated from him. And you broke his heart. That's why he got this armor on. And he got his hand over his chest. You separated from him. You broke his heart. He tried to get you pregnant. But this is a karmic baby. Because this is a karmic masculine. So that shit was never going to happen. Because you got spirit babies all around you. I'm getting some of For some of you guys, this was a manifestation of spell work this karmic massive but for some of you guys this was a soulmate so this was always gonna happen that you know you need to check your birth chart but basically this you like you were meant to meet this person and, and go through this lesson but basically for some of you guys this what karmic was a manifestation of spell work for a lot of times when the when the twins go through spell work um during separation like when the when the karmic is doing spell work it manifests or even if the it's not um just karmic feminines like that are dating the masculine, it's your family, it's all the other organizations and Sikh sides, whatever the fuck is doing spell work on you. So it be manifesting as each the divine masculine and the divine feminine get in a karmic. That's how like you know, and it'd be like they be trying to set you up with all types of situations, um, doing spell work, poisoning your food, all types of shit. Y'all know how this shit goes, okay? Y'all know it's your life. Okay. For some of you guys that's resonating with this. Not everybody will resonate with this. You know, flip flop the road. Take what is take what um I'm not closing the back now. I'm doing one trick. But take what resonates, okay? Use your pendulums, use your discernment. If you need a personal reading, I am available next week. Change is coming here. So I'm getting that this nigga he had you guys could have had chemistry, but you see how he's distracting you. You, it's like okay, you hold this. Up. I feel like he is just he was distracting you. He was sent as a distraction, like I said. Um, hmm. he could have tried to move into your house. That's what I'm getting here. Um, I'm also getting there's a change in plans here for him because he tried to fuck with you. For some of you guys, he's going into poverty. It's like, okay, so since he did something to you, he did spell work on you. That's one. That's one strike, motherfucker. But he also did something here with your friend. He did something with your friend. Look, it's the same bitch in the white dress. Boom. It's the same bitch in the white dress over here. And this person could have a child. And this nigga, you could tell... Um, this nigga just wanted to basically get like back at you or get information about you. New love engagement. He wanted to get information about you from this friend. He needed to get all the information that he could. And this could even be like documents. Let me see. What the fuck information he needed? 
Mature woman leading in reverse. So this is an immature woman, false person. Hold on. Immature woman. Somebody was impersonating you. This could be um this could be a document. Okay, for a house, somebody look bad health house. So somebody, it's an immature woman. They could have actually caught there was a this deception here. Actually, this bitch. See, you see this document here? Okay. And the alarm just went off. So this somebody here impersonated you. This nigga was wearing a mask. So I'm getting spiritually this nigga impersonated your divine masculine. But this bitch over here was impersonating you trying to deal with your karmic masculine to get some of your energy, some of your abundance, because look. It's an eight right here. And then two, there's a nine, nine right here. Change and coffin. So they try to change your destiny. They tried to put you in this coffin here and send you bad health. Look, so some of you guys could have got sick around this person. Or this new lover was trying to get you sick with an STD. Look, engagement and new love. They wanted you to get engaged to them. For some of you guys, it's for their citizenship. But for some of you guys, they just wanted your abundance. They wanted, yeah, they wanted your abundance. Then what is your destiny? It's a past life lover. Look, past life relationship. Forgiving and learning. So for some of you guys, you do have to release you release this person, but you do have to forgive this person because um uh, well they know not what they fucking do. Obviously, they wouldn't be fucking doing that shit. But forgive this person because you know you cannot uh, manifest from your heart if you have resentment. So forgive this person. You were meant to learn this lesson, okay, with this karmic. So I'm getting here like you could have known this person for a long time and this person was doing things for you this was a, a spirit this was a lesson for you because not everybody that does things for you or offers you favors has good intentions not everybody like i had to learn these lessons because when i was younger you know boys always want to do shit for pretty girls so people always want to do shit they want to i don't know buy you groceries they want to uh do all types of errands all of a sudden when they like you listen don't be letting people do handle certain shit for you do that shit yourself my dad told me that shit at a young age and don't be expect accepting gifts from motherfuckers that you don't want to be with either unexpected income is in reverse this person is not getting whatever the fuck they thought they was fucking getting um look they was trying to steal your great fortune because this motherfucker had no job for, is this deck upside down it is, but I'm still getting the same message as here. Because unexpected income, occupation, great fortune. But you see how they pouring out all the fucking money. Unexpected income. It, that shit is not go. That shit is not going in their fucking pockets, stupid. Dummy, they not catching no blessings. They gonna have to go back to work. Occupation. 18 minutes. Express your love. This person is doing fucking love work on you. Still. Child is in reverse. This is not your spirit, baby. I'm not having no... Man, the boss coming and not having no fucking babies with you, okay? That's not no fucking baby here. Still. Message. What the fuck is this? What's this? What's the message about? Make the effort. This person is going to message you. I think there's a lot of child in reverse. Uh, reconciliation. I'm about to eat, y'all. My stomach is wrong. Someone is returning from your house to your house. Somebody could show up to your house. They want to make the effort. I'm not sure if this is this karmic. Is this this karmic? Master? Or it's um, sudden wealth? Hmm. So I don't know if this is your divine master. Nope. 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 See? It's some, somebody got a sudden, some sort of sudden wealth. Somebody did something here with your house information. Or something here about your apartment, your house. Something here about your house. You got some sort of property. Some sort of property and this person tried to steal it. This could be a house. But this could also be um, like a lump sum of money. Because I keep seeing pentacles everywhere. And it's unexpected money. Sudden well. So somebody could have got a lump sum of money. An inheritance of some sort. This could also be spiritual. Like, you know, basically you got some sort of new gift. This person wants to harvest off of it by having sex with you. Or just being around you gift is in reverse look what i said they're not getting this gift that you have and i feel like for a lot of you guys it's a spiritual gift that you have that nobody else has they cannot fucking have it 
this person is gifted too. That's why they're able to do to know certain things about you. Like they they uh, for some of you guys, you knew this person for a long time, but this person was into tarot and they were psychic and shit like that. They was tapped in before you were because they're older than you. For a lot of you guys, this person could be 37, 27, I mean 24. You could be 24. Or this person's 37, 38. Okay. You could have known this person for three years. Look. To know this person for three years since she was 15 maybe for some of you guys wow something happened when they was 30 years old they got some sort of judgment and she been going left because they've been doing spell work on you for like a good seven years boo -boo. eight seven years 37 38 they've been doing spell work on you for a good eight seven seven eight years it's fucking crazy fucking crazy because they know you a twin but that's 11 right here Healing family issues. Wow. They don't want you to heal family issues with your baby daddy or your twin. It's fucking retarded. Or even they try to, um, they even did, um, for some of you guys, this person did a deal with one of your friends. For some of you guys, they, this person dealt with your sister. Yeah, for some of you guys, it was your sister. And they try to create conflict between y'all. Or not try to because your sister should have never did that, but, um, Mature man, this person is older than you. About five years. Five years older than you. This person is going to try and flirt with you. You know, you love yourself first. You love yourself. You're not fucking dealing with this person. This person needs self-love. This person needs to love himself. Um, so you could be... Um, you're protected by the angels. Look, they are rolling you the fuck away from this nigga because... Hell fucking no. So for some of you guys, it's a mature man. He's going to come flirt with you. I'm not sure if it's the same nigga. But no, they're saying love yourself first, period. Hmm. For some of you guys, this could be somebody dead. I don't know. I don't know. For some of you guys, this could be your divine masculine dad. I don't know who the fuck this is, but this, he's coming towards somebody. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm done with this reading. I just have to get this shit out because I got mad child. So this motherfucker won't stop bothering me.